Hi guys, welcome to this week's video diary. Um, it's not going to be a long one this week because it's a quiet a week. Uh, it seems to go like that. I have a busy week, then I have a quiet week, then a busy week, then a quiet week, which is fine because at my age you need to catch up, shall we say, and sleep. So, Starting with today, it's Monday. I did say I was going to try and do this on a Sunday, but that didn't happen. So it's Monday night again. Um, I've been in the office today. I am going to be stripping. Um, before you ask for a vlog on that, um, it's actually wallpaper. The intention is to do it anyway. Whether it gets done is another matter because the barbecue is on, it's been a really hot day and there's Prosecco and there's burnt things so that might take over. Um, I was doing some stripping yesterday and um, it's an old house that I live in, it was built in um, late 1930s um, so I was really hopeful that when I took this wallpaper off, because it was behind a fitted wardrobe uh, that I've ripped out, myself uh, that um, there might be something behind this paper and you know what there was? A hidden door. <laughs> it wasn't really. Um, but what I found was somebody's writing. Yes? Underneath the wardrobes, you might remember me telling you this, I can't remember where I said it, but there was some um, toy soldiers and some Simpsons playing cards. So nothing that Drew Pritchard is going to be you know, like getting excited about. If you don't know who Drew Pritchard is, um, Salvage Hunters? This early 20th century cast iron fishing sign would appeal to fishermen and outdoor enthusiasts. After a basic polish, it can be sold for 40 pounds. I watch a little bit of daytime telly sometimes. That's one of the things with working from home you do end up watching a little bit of daytime telly and it's one of those things where you have to watch till the end once you start because you need to know A, whether this person is going to survive, how much, you know, this conqueror is worth or something that somebody's hung on to for years. Um, Drew Pritchard goes out and finds, I'm not going to say that there were always antiques, sometimes they're really, you know, quirky stuff that he sells on and makes profit. Um, anyway, there was nothing like that under my wardrobe. Um, on the wall, though, there was the name David Dalton, 1969, written on the wall. So if your name is David Dalton and you did some wallpaper in 1969, wood chip, <laughs> you maybe lived in my house. Or you wallpapered it. Anyway, David Dalton, where are you now? I've, I've gone all Radio Nottingham. Um, BBC Radio Nottingham. Text your answer. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. The bedroom is coming on really slowly. I am going to be doing a makeover type vlog at some point, so you can see what I do to it. But the house is just in chaos at the minute. There's stuff everywhere. Imagine emptying your wardrobes and not having anywhere to put it. That's what it's like at the minute. So, what I'm doing tonight, um, and rock and roll, I also need to go into the loft. You know, the excitement never ends. So that's tonight, tomorrow, Tuesday. I am going to see the lovely Linda Hewitt. I love that lady, I really love her. She's the lovely lady. Have I said that? <laughs> She's a lovely lady and I worked with her at the food festivals last year. Linda does a lot of baking, she does a lot of uh, food demonstrations and she's going to show me how to make bread. It's not the easiest thing to do. I have tried before and um, if you listened to my radio show that sadly is no longer with us, um, you might have heard the story about when I made some cobs, which is what we call them in the Midlands. I'm not even going to start on that. Um, I made some cobs, or you might call them rolls. 
um, and I put them in my mum's porch. I'm going back years, I didn't just make them here and take them to my mum's and stick them in a porch. I was at my mum's then. And she had a deck chair in her porch at that time, and so I put the cobs on the deck chair, tea towel over them to what they call, if you watch Bake Off, prove. And my brother, bless him, came in, thought he'd have a sit down, sat on the cobs, and um, we told him obviously what he'd done. But let me tell you, those cobs rose like nobody's business. So he basically kind of, you know, sat on them in like a nest. Um, yes, we did cook them because I just had a tea towel over them. You know, and it was, it was the eighties. I would have thought maybe. So you know, different times. So yeah. Anyway, I um, meeting up with Linda Hewitt tomorrow. I'm going to make bread. So I will post some pictures of what the bread looks like when we've done it on social media. So if you want to have a look at my bread, at my cobs, baps, buns, <laughs> make sure you are following me on Facebook, that's Tanya Louise, or on Twitter, at Tanya Louise underscore. Um, I'm guessing that mine might not be, you know, Instagrammable. Um, so I don't know if they'll be on there. I'll put them on Insta stories maybe. So keep a lookout on there. So that's what I'm doing Tuesday. Wednesday, what am I doing? Wednesday I've got a meeting in the morning with a PR company. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happening from that. Um, Wednesday night, I think I'm at a networking event. Thursday is a pretty free day, so I will be working from home, no doubt having a date with Drew Pritchard again. Um, Ed China, Wheeler Dealers. Ed China, I don't know if you've seen Wheeler Dealers. This is a similar kind of thing, you see. This is what draws you in, because they buy an old car, they do it up and they sell it for a profit. They make it look really easy. Ed China, mechanic um at china also the would you say inventor or creator of the fastest shed in the world he drive he drove a shed basically made a shed drivable anyway at china i kind of feel like i know him i've seen him that many times now um and he's he's kind of a unconventionally nice guy. He reminds me a bit of somebody's dad at a party when you were a kid and you felt a little bit embarrassed around them and you didn't quite know why. A quirky attractiveness. Do you know what I mean? Don't fancy him. Just feel like I know him and I feel quite close to him. Anyway, moving on. Friday. Oh, Friday. I am, I'm going to another networking event then. We'll say networking, it's more like co-working because I'm better getting work done sometimes when I'm in an environment where there's no distractions like there are. <laughs> I get China, for example, uh, and Drew Pritchard, to name a couple. Gordon Ramsay, to name another one. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that Friday morning. Saturday, in fact the weekend, I don't really have any firm plans at the moment. So this week I think is going to be a catching up week and then next week it gets busy again. But I'll tell you about that next week. Um, but as you know, things can change. I might be inundated with work, I might be whisked away somewhere or I might be you know, having a wander around Primark, coming back and watching Ed China. I'll let you guess which is most likely to happen. So, like I said, short and sweet, that is the end of the video diary for this week. I have a glass, Barbie's on, and I'll tell you what I saw in the co-op today, which I had to get, they were calling me, 
um, strawberry, I can't even speak now, strawberry and prosecco crumble. I mean, hello. That, I don't, I don't, it sent me a message, I had to buy it, um, so I might be having that later. I am trying to be good, but obviously it's not happening. Um, I say every week I'm going to be good, um, and it doesn't happen. And, and because I'm doing more modelling now, I should be really trying to be good. But there's always tomorrow. Um, so, if you have anything that you want me to come out and review, um, or if you want to talk to me about anything, you've got any questions, do get in touch via uh, the social media. You can comment. If you want to hear more of my ramblings, uh, click on subscribe, give this video the thumbs up, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.